Stakeholders in the education sector from all the 47 counties countrywide converged in KICC to discuss a task force report that proposes sweeping reforms in the Kenyan education system in accordance with the new constitution. The new Minister for Basic Education was here on his first official assignment. And in his maiden speech to the stakeholders, it will not be business as usual. The day of reform in the education tech sector has just arrived. The proposed reforms, according to the Constitution, should be in place before the next general elections, and a new law to support the same should also be in place before the same deadline. I would prefer, by the time we go to the election, this proposed bill, legal framework for education for Kenya, be enacted before August this year. Mutula urged politicians to tone down their rhetoric at least to give room for the formation of the necessary policies and frameworks as required by the Constitution before the expiry of deadlines. Why contaminate the atmosphere when we have not complied with the Constitution? Higher Education Minister Margaret Kamar said emphasis in the new education reforms should be placed on every level of education structure. It is therefore very important that all of us interrogate the two task force reports to enable us to ensure a smooth transition of students in this country from one level to the next. The new report is a product of two task forces from both ministries of basic and higher education.